Hello everyone. So in this video, we will install Apache Pulsar using the Docker on Azure VM. So let's get started. So first of all, let's create a virtual machine. And just give a name. We will SAR VM 00 or simple VM. And go with the default one or you can choose any uh, VM family like I just choose with two vCPUs and 4 GB memory. I'm just using the password. And review and create. Just click on review and create again. Click on create. This may take a little time, so I'll pause the video. So go to resource and click on connect. I just copy this line and open a git bash. SSH and just paste it. Say yes. Enter the password. And make a sudo su login. apt update so that we can update the package. Now let's install Apache install docker. Say yes. And now let's, uh, these are the basic commands. First of all, Apache standalone server that we'll install. And then Apache a Pulsar manager, that's a management UI. And then we'll open the port in the your networking 6650 and 9527. 9527 is for Pulsar Manager. 6650 is for uh, sending and receiving the messages. And then we will uh, add the uh, or uh, enable the admin password, username and password. So let's first of all, um, we already did this, uh, uh, install the Docker. So let's first try with this command. So I'll go to the git bash and all right so we have already installed the, the first part now let's start with the Apache Pulsar manager Okay, so now let us check whether both the process are running. Yes, they are up. Now let us uh, try this command. This is just a CRF token, C CR CSRF token. And then let's declare the username and password. Okay, so first of all, we have to, before we try to access, we need to open two ports. Go to the networking and click on the 9527 and add it. All right. And then we also need another port 6650. 
I hope that support right. Six six five zero nine five two seven. Yeah. Let's add it. Six six five zero and now let's copy um, the IP address and put into the browser and with the port 9527 we can see so what was our username admin and the password was Apache Pulsar So our management UI is already there now. So now let us test the same from uh, Python client. And then that is a receiver and then we have a sender so let's first of all try the receiver is it created a connection okay all right so now let us try to send message from a sender and we got all the 10 messages which been send it by the sender again a simple client we are just client we create using the pulsar dot client and we just pass the IP address and the URL then we create a topic and then we just send a 10 messages using the for loop and then we close the client and in the pulsar receiver we do the same thing first of all we create a client and then we subscribe the topic and subscription name is my sub while true it will continually li listen on this port in URL and it receives the message in acknowledge back and then at last it just closes the client. So that's it uh, a simple setup uh, using the Apache Pulsar. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.